Emily Gaylord, Chair of the Local Cultural Council. I'm calling this meeting to order where we will determine our um, funding applications for the year and who is going to be funding funded through the Local Cultural Council through the Mass Cultural Council grants. Um, and I'm just gonna, Pat, you're on the top left of my screen. So if you wanna introduce yourself and then call on somebody else, we can do it that way. Oh, um, my name is Pat Ryan. I'm new to the Cultural Council. So I hope you all forgive me if I'm a little slow at this tonight. Um, um, Anyway, I've lived in Deerfield about eight years and I'm very cultured. So I think I can work this out um, <laughs> with your help. Um, I do have a question, uh, Chair, Madam Chair. Is the public uh, invited to this? Um, they could be on here, right? But I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone either, but yes, presumably they could. All right. If they wanted Good. to. And of course, they can look at the um, video later. Okay, I call on Denise. Well, thank you, Pat. Um, I'm Denise Schwartz. I've been in town for 30 some years, I think. I was on the Cultural Council years and years and years and years ago. So you know, things have probably changed a lot. Um, I hope never to be the chair. So I'll call on Max. Hi, I'm Max, um, first year on the Cultural Council. Uh, and we've lived in town for oh, eight, six years, six years. Um, yeah. And I teach over at Frontier. I'm excited to go through, since many of these are music related, that's what I teach. And it's really cool to check it out. So I'll call on Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia Leone, and I've been on the Cultural Council for, um, I don't know, four years now maybe um and i've lived i was i went to des and frontier and then moved away and we've been back here for um 13 years um and i think that we all work hard at making this as um quick and easy as possible um and sometimes it works fabulously and <laughs> we all just we'll just it's going to be what it's going to be and it's going to be great so Everyone's getting money. How bad is that? Um, so I'll call on Laura. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Laura Pontani. Um, I have lived in Deerfield since 2015, and we moved to the area in 2010. Um, I am a local therapist, and um, I saw Emily's post about um, the council and I've been wanting to find a way to get involved in the town um, and someone at once one point wanted me to do something that didn't sound really that fun for me um, and being able to give money away to people who are doing really cool things sounded fun um, <laughs> and then Emily told me who was a part of the group and I know some of you and was really excited just to join and also to meet some of you who I know from other groups who are doing really good things in the town and so i wanted to be a part of this so thanks emily we're really happy to have you laura do you want to call on someone or do you want me to i'm so sorry um how about annie Hi everyone, I'm Annie Curtis. My house is chaos right now, so I'm gonna make it short. I'm a social worker um, and I'm brand new to this committee. So I'm really excited to kind of see how this process works. Um, and I was also just really excited to see just what small section of projects I looked at. It was all really cool, very interesting. So I'm really excited to get the money out and kind of keep this moving forward. Uh, Roberta. Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Oh, good, because I'm having technical difficulties here. Hi, I'm Roberta LaBarbera. I worked in town for about, um, I've lived in town rather for about 25 years. I work at UMass as a systems analyst, and I have been 
on the council probably for like 10 years. <laughs> and this is my last year being on the council. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you said that last year, Roberta. I know, but Jen was leaving and she begged me to stay. So, <laughs> well, we're really happy to have you here as well. So I have to say, I thought that um, our attendance was going to be leaner than this. And I know many of you have family priorities and probably chaos in the background or other priorities. So thank you so much for being here. Um, and thank you for meeting virtually. Um, I think there was a lot of Christmas COVID going around. It hit my house. So luckily my husband can emerge from the basement now where he's been isolated <laughs> and masked and he's uh, with my daughter. So definitely not um, immune <laughs> in this house. Although my daughter and I didn't get it. So I guess we are a little immune. Um, so, um, I just wanted to go over um, the funding priorities really quickly um, so that we all kind of have like a baseline level set of what we were um, considering when reviewing the applications. And I'm just going to share my screen and I figure, hold on, let me actually do it this way because then, oh, hold on, sorry. Um, what I can do is just from there, go right to the list of applications. Um, let me share. Okay, and I'm assuming everyone is seeing the priorities right now and not your faces. Is that true? Mm -hmm. And yes. I can see immediately everyone <coughs> is leaning in. So let me try and zoom a little bit. Okay, so. Um, our overall priority is that we want the Deerfield Cultural Council to bring new and varied programs to all ages of our population. Um, we wanted categories that would reach the most residents. We tried to allocate intergenerationally. So events that were accessible to all ages were prioritized. Give preference to events that take place in town or have free or reduced ticket prices for our residents of Deerfield. We also wanted to see a plan for COVID-19 in the event that it's necessary. This was a departure from last year where it was absolutely required, but as time has changed, we're seeing that um, there can be a little bit more flexibility there. We wanted to make sure that it meets the Americans with Disabilities Act. There's a lot of language there, but I think that that's pretty comprehensive. Um, this is a big one that if the event is held in person, the applicant has a venue already cited. Um, generally, smaller grants are more likely to be funded since we have a very small budget. Um, but that said, one of the priorities set forth from the Mass Cultural Council was that they wanted to see bigger chunks of money given out. So this is an area where um, it's going to be on us to really deliberate which way we want to go with that um but we see a lot of smaller grant opportunities come through and in, in a small town like deerfield i think that's appropriate um we also give priorities to projects that increase awareness of cultural uh, diversity and or elevate the voices of historically marginalized groups and um, under guidelines it's pretty simple application must be filled correctly proposal submitted on time applicant has read and understands the priorities of the deerfield lcc and the venue again has been established prior to application. So here is our list. And do people feel comfortable going through and starting with the yeses or do we have questions? Anything we want to discuss before we jump into this? I like that idea. I like it. I like it too. I just want to see everybody's face. Oh, there's Pat asking a question. Yes, Pat. Um, I'm sorry, would you remind me how much money do we have total? Oh, hold on. I know I, I read it, but I forgot. No, hold on, I can tell you how much it was awarded. That's good. I also haven't, <laughs> I think we're all in the- Okay, well, you don't have to tell me right now. Well, no, we, we do need have, to know though before the night's over. So, actually, in here, 
Oh no, hold on. Was it 6,000? Um, I feel like it was 6,000. Oh, I thought it was less. Okay. No, I think, it's more. I think it went up a bit since last year. It did. Hold on. I, I want to have an exact number before we jump in. I should have pulled that up ahead of time. I'm sorry. Here, let me, um, how do I stop sharing? Okay. I don't want to accidentally pull up the wrong thing. feels very quiet. Someone needs to sing or something. Well, I think um, I think Denise should um, judge all the dance related things because I, oh. saw, I saw her dance at the gala and that was very impressive. Very, wow. uh, very ginger, uh, ginger Rogers. Whoa. Oh, say it again. <laughs> I was just looking back and I saw that an email from you on August 25th said we have been allocated 6,000. 6,000? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Max. Yeah, of course. Oh, Pat, I just want to plug, I want everybody to know that Dance Northampton has been in Deerfield now for two years. So anybody who wants to take dance classes, it's located right across from Johnny Figs. You can take dance classes several nights a week. Don't you think they need to change their week. name? Well, I don't think they thought that they were going to be kicked out of their Dance Deerfield has nice alliteration. I'll talk to them about it if everybody here decides to take dance classes. I'll talk to them about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested. Go ahead. I'm, we, we can talk, Pat. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So if we're just going to go with the yeses, we can cross off number one. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, Denise, were you the second reviewer with me on this first? No, 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 no. I start on number 22. I, I was the second reviewer with you. All right. So, <clears throat> um, Laura, do you want to take the lead or would you like me to on each of these? Oh, no. Why don't you? <laughs> I was like, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> you are doing it right. You did a really good um, job. Okay. So, this is um a play that is being produced and held in Deerfield um it is LGBTQIA focused it's about I think a young man who decides opts not to commit suicide it's it's heavy but um I'd love to see more theater in town in Deerfield it's in town and it is a traditionally marginalized group so it feels like it hits most of our priorities. Yeah, I also think like, um, given the mental health climate that, you know, people have been experiencing, I thought it was really important to also um, talk about that piece because um, that's not usually very represented. I hope it's represented in a um, <laughs> helpful way. I don't want to say positive. I want to say helpful. I have a question. Uh, where is Arena Civic Theater going to be doing this? Where does it take place? I thought it was at DA. It DA doesn't Deerfield have a public theater. Cultural. It says um, Deerfield Community Center. Do they mean where Deerfield Academy Community Center? That's what I thought it was, Olivia. Deerfield Academy doesn't have a community center. Right. No, they're not part of the community. <laughs> um, no, That's for a different no, seriously, <laughs> Arena Civic Theater has been around for a while and they used to be in the church here on Main Street. Remember that, you guys? I wonder if that's yeah. what they're talking about. Is the but they can't no, know. They right. can't know and there is no, there is no Deerfield Community There's Center no community that center. I know of. I thought it was DA too. Thought it was what? Also Deerfield Academy. 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 They were at the fairgrounds too. I'm, I'm, I was, I was pretty sure it was Deerfield Academy and that was a little bit why I said I thought it was pricey because I felt that they could have, um, D DA could have helped out and given a little bit of a discount to the community. They would never do that. They would never do that. I know, but I just get mad about it. So <laughs> <laughs> are we looking at the app? Is this the application? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, this is internet. 
Where does it say? Okay. I'm getting there. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Ar Arena Civic Theater. Physical address. Okay, here we go. Deerfield Community Center. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't, there is not one. Maybe they'll, right. maybe they'll describe it here. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just looking for... Um, Oh, they said something about Montague. Yeah, library. Montague Library. Space rental. Okay. Deerfield Community Center performance space, nine hundred fifty dollars. Wow. <laughs> um, in the past, when this has happened, I hate. I'm sorry. Let me take that back. I hate saying in the past, but it doesn't matter anymore. At, when it isn't clear where it's going to be, we've often made it, you know, tentative, and then they need to get back to us and tell us where it actually yep. is going to be located. Yep. So let's just make a um huh. That's so interesting. I wonder why I thought it was DA. I thought I got the same impression. So it might just be um something worth let's just go through the rest. Yeah okay. and make that tentative and if they come back with a real venue then you know well, and let's see how much money we have. Maybe we'll say. Yeah. But I'd like to know if there is a Deerfield Community Center because we can definitely use it. I know. We'd love to use it. That okay. So great. here's Davis R. Bates. I want to get to his like flyer. He's doing ra Raising Our Voices, Multicultural Music. It's free to everybody. It's in town. Open to all ages. This is number three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or four, sorry. Or four. Jeffrey Baker no. was a no. From, it was in Conway. Wait, wait, wait. So we just did. Sorry. The first one was a no. No. And Arena Civic Theater is number two. Which is so continued um, venue. Then Jeffrey Baker was a no because that's in Conway. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. And then we liked Davis Bates because he's seem to hit a lot of the funding priorities. And that's um, a video that's um, online? It's no. um, in person with a video option, if in, it needs it, to be. In person where? At the library? Uh, Let me get back. Library program. Yep. So that's something to think about because there's an awful lot that's from Tilton and, you know. I, well, Tilton's the only venue. <laughs> it's true. Well, but what room in, in Tilton? It's outside. Outside. Uh, yeah. That's what I need to know. All right. Um, yeah. He is a frequent receiver of our funds. Just FYI, everybody. Well, let's here. I'm gonna make he is good. He is good. So I'm gonna put 475 here. Okay. And then let's just see. Like where we land with everybody else. Good idea. Um, yes. All right. Then um, this one was in Greenfield, so we said no. Rosemary. No. Okay. Um, then we're on to the Deerfield Rec Center. I always feel like similarly they submit a lot, so. It's all ages, it's free, it's accessible, it's in town. I think this is one of the music programs. They submitted a music and a science. Um, so I just wanted to see like if other people had rec center stuff come through, if there was one that was more potentially more compelling. But this I think that their concerts are always really well attended and they're outdoors and they're open to all ages, etc. Do you know who's who it is? Yep, it's um, we can get there. I'm sorry to have to keep going back and forth, but no, nope, this is good fine. I should have it. Um, but I think this is good. This is the problem when we go so long between. Oh, I had it. It's hard to Union remember. Jack Band. Do we know anything about them, Denise? We do not. <laughs> but they're new, right? Like, have we had Union Jack Band in town before? I don't know them. What kind of music do they play? What do they do? They are um, 
Here we go. Here we go. I think it's like British tribute. British tribute band. Beatles, Rolling Stones, <clears throat> the Monkeys, and the Eagles. And this is cultural. This isn't for kids. This is for everybody. Right. Yeah. No, but okay. Cool. But our descriptor said for children. No, they have two. Oh, all ages. Yeah. Okay. I see. Okay. So it's um, British bands. Well, so, that would really, yeah. That's so really I say, different. Let's say yes. It is let's different. Put the amount in. And then um, again, let's just see where we land. Um, the next one, I like it. It's a STEM program, but it's for kids. And I think we really wanted to have, try and get more intergenerational programming this year. I feel comfortable if we're funding a different Deerfield Rec Center program, not funding all of their requests, but wanted to mention it because I do like that it's STEM. Yeah, and I'll say, I'll say that um, it's the it's the guy Jay Mankato, right? I think so. Yeah, he's pretty good. I've taken my kids to it before. And as like a family, it's fun for everybody. So it's not, it's not just like, if you don't have children, you're not going to end up wanting to go. But if you have grandkids or totally. you have children, it's parents do or, or, you know, guardians can enjoy the event. Do we want to call it a maybe and come back to it depending on how much money is left over? I would say maybe just because it's pretty good. No, that's maybe. good. That's good perspective. Maybe. Maybe. <coughs> and let's note that it's STEM because I don't think I recall in reading all of them that there's a lot of science oriented stuff yeah. this year. Yeah, I, I, I think I would say yes, because that maybe when you put in the maybe just say STEM beside it so we don't kind of yeah. get lost in our thoughts about other things. Yeah, yeah, and, I do think that, yeah. and I also feel like often what we get from often, I've done this exactly twice, at least last year and this year, I feel like almost everything that came through from them was bands. So it's also nice to see them put forward a different yeah. type yeah. of application. Right. Um, this is another music at the library, free and outdoors. And she said, not exclusive to LGBTQIA families, but especially welcoming to them. So she does a lot of like family songs that are representative of different types of families. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so already we have three family things. We need to just write that down. Yeah. That in so. I don't know her. I think I do. I think her name sounds really familiar to me. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and I think this would be a good one to like say yes and then look at how many things are at the library and then maybe we could also do partial funding like we've done in the past. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea. All right. I didn't, uh, didn't the Mass Cultural Council recommend that we make um, um, awards of at least $250? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to keep in mind then. Which I mean, would go a long way for some of these budgets, even yeah. just that. Um, okay, so the next one, this is another family oriented. And Laura, please like interrupt me if I'm speaking too much for both of us. No, I think we have kind of the same ideas written down. Um, this is like an exploration of town that the Union 38 group is connecting with the Hitchcock Center. It is focused on kids two through six. The only reason I made it a maybe is the Hitchcock Center itself has strong name recognition, and it could be from an economic stimulus perspective, like they might pull other families in, they might spend money in our local businesses. And yes. there is a component of the Cultural Council that I think is thinking that way, like how is mm -hmm. culture and economic stimulus for the town? So that's why I put them down as a maybe, but I don't think they it necessarily meets the guidelines that we set forth. In it just doesn't meet number one, and I forget what mm -hmm. that is. That's the intergenerational. 
intergenerational. Okay, so that's a maybe. All right. I just, a, I, I just wanted to chime in on that as someone who's attended multiple of those with um, CFCE with the Hitchcock Center. What's CSDE? Uh, so the early childhood coordinator, Amy Batisti is the one who sort of like runs this is my understanding. So I think it's the same thing. It is. Um, I would say just the nature of that group it's very much intergenerational and support for caregivers of those children. So I think there's maybe a little more nuance than just like, oh, it's a, you know, it's a thing about squirrels. I'm thinking of the one that we went to. Um, <laughs> I think if there's, there's so many tentacles for caregiver support for young children that it's not maybe as straightforward as it's just about Hitchcock. I think it's sort of about the entity as a whole. So that I just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, and they have, yeah. I think a couple applications which union 38 does um, um, that sounds very interesting to me and i don't i mean i know it's ages two to six only but um just reading reading it sounds interesting now um pat you could be ages two to six in your heart mm -hmm. well yeah i could rent a, a child you can have mine for the day <laughs> all right well um Let's put it as a maybe and put the grant amount and see. And this is also, by the way, would I think qualify as STEM, actually. True. Yeah. Although I don't like squirrels that much. <laughs> well, this one's not about squirrels. I think this is like a nature walk of Deerfield, which is kind of Wait, a- Do you want to go back and read it so we know? Sure, let's. Yeah. I mean, I'm just guessing because I didn't read this. I mean. Your whole rack. All right. It's. I wish they would cut out some of the. Um, yeah. They should uh, summarize the, everything that we need to know to make these decisions. Like, okay. Here's uh, like that was all uh, Carrie Ferguson. All right. Here we go. Um, two part program with Hitchcock Center interactive in-person family program that will provide inquiry-based outdoor and environmental education for small groups to explore the nature in our beautiful town. Include movement, song, nature exploration, and a storybook with a focus on learning around nature. Program kind of targets vague. children two to six in their families. And yeah, it's that sounds nice. It, it is nice, I think. And I, I do- It's pretty vague. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna talk about, but I'm, I think it would probably be fun. I don't know. We don't know what they're going to talk about or what the stories are going to be. About I like the are. idea of like teaching, it says teach our families how to use our own backyards and town as a wonderful teaching tool. That's a good thing. Yeah. Back yeah. Out. Well, and I like that, like in terms of um, Deerfield focus, this is really Deerfield. Yeah. Focused. Like this is That's a very good point. Good point. Town. So, so we'll make it a big maybe. Okay. Well, this is the second one. So the one that you're writing about is different from the oh. two to six year old Hitchcock one, which Sorry, is a book. I, I forgot that I already wrote maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not clear what we're doing now. Now we're on to the second Union 38 one. And this is the jump into kindergarten program. So this is like a fair for kids who are going to kindergarten. I feel like if I was going to choose between the Union 38 applications, this one is like, it's very specific to children going to kindergarten at DES versus like anyone who has a two to six year old. So it just seems like in terms of number of people served, it's less. Yeah. So, do we so it does sound now? delightful and very adorable. We should all go. We should all go. <laughs> so are we saying no? I think so. All right. Um, and then your feel number 11 is a no. I, yeah, and I think we're now out of mine and Laura's. Okay. Because that was a, an 11. I mean, a no Deerfield, right? Yeah, no okay. Deerfield. All right. So now all we're right. on to Hilltown families who had Hilltown families. I did. I think I had 11 through 21. I think I did too, Roberta. I think it was both of us. Okay. All right, take us through. I just think this is a, I mean, it's a very well-used resource. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know that. I mean, they ask every single town for money. Um, and that's how she stays in business. Um, I don't know that we need to, this is a, a, still a lot of money, even if the total project is that much. This is what she does for her life. This basically pays her salary. Yeah. Um, and and if you want to place an event in there, I've I've done that for the women's club and they they charge. They charge not much. I think it's like $25. So it's not a complete nonprofit, though. I don't think she makes a lot of money, but you know, as as Olivia said, it's I read it, you know, I read it, I get their newsletters every week and I read it and it's great. So, you know, maybe uh, but we do have that limitation where we want to make the grants at least $250. So Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, this is a tough one. Yeah. I would say no. If if we can't like give her 50 bucks, then I would just say no. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. We can always come back to it. Yeah. And our first priority is Deerfield and it does serve Deerfield, but not primarily. I mean, if we needed a really good reason, that is one. I've seen it too. It is really nice. But when my kids were younger, we used it a lot. It's how we went and did a lot of things and yeah. also, yeah, found out about different things going on. Um, but there are a lot of funding sources they can source from. So we can go to 13. I mean, 14, no, 13. Yeah, I think we gave to them, I don't know how many years we've given to Hilltown Youth Performing. Um, but um, it, it's not that I don't think it's wonderful. I think it's a great cause and I think it's a great um, program. I don't know how many students from Deerfield, if any, are helped or go to this. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know any. They could be and they could not. It still seems like a great program, not? but it's not in Deerfield. Can you give us a little description of what it is that they're asking for? What are they going to be doing? Um, I would have to go back to the little list of <laughs> um, oh, okay. things, but uh, it's, it's what I believe it's, um, they put together like a play, like it's a performing arts program that they, they put together. Um, and I think they're focused on um, kids who have had trauma. Mm-hmm. Right. Am I in the wrong place? Yeah. Yeah. Am I too far? No, I'm not even there yet. Okay, hold on. Hilltown families. Okay, we're almost there. Hilltown. Oh my goodness. I mean, she you gotta give her credit. You know, why don't we get it, you know, maybe just when stay here and then if we have questions, we won't have to scroll from the beginning again. It wasn't the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to make it easier for you because there's so much to go through here. Yeah, no, I know. It's just that each one has so many things. It's a you do a control F to find things. You know, I yeah. could, Roberta. Okay, here it is. <laughs> So, so yeah, so it's a recovery theater. Like it's for it's kids who've been Heath in trauma. School. It takes place at the Heath school yeah which yeah so okay Heath school let's say no and then if yeah let's definitely say no No. not in Deerfield no that one's easy okay this is South County Senior Center I lost it 14 that's 16 okay Lysander I think I need to just zoom out like a little bit. This is from Carmela. No, this is number four. No, this is Jeff Lysander, right? This is Jeff Lysander. So that's a no. We both said no, so we'll just go with a no. Yeah, so just go with no. So then we're on to. Okay, I'm part of the next one, so I should probably just walk out of the room. And believe me, I I am the producer, the co-producer with this next project. And um, I saw that there were some questions about it, but. And I could tell you more and I could, but I don't think that's fair because there's nobody else here to say more about their projects so that they could be more convincing. So I can, uh, I'm the person who did the interviews. 
I understand what the project is, but I don't think I should be here while you all discuss it. And I don't, I mean, I can go back and see what you say, but mm -hmm. I think that it would be better if I'm just away for a minute. Well, well there is a question. Um, where is the play held? Well, this is, this is the, um, this is the, this will not be the full scale play. It's already going to be, and it does say this in the, in the, um, in the proposal. Um, it's going to be in, the first run through is going to be in May and it's going to be at the South County Senior Center here in Deerfield. And Jennifer at the Senior Center has devoted, when we told her about this, she's devoted her whole programming for May around resilience in older adults um, and during COVID. She's going to talk about resilience because this is going to be like the kickoff for their whole monthly program. And this is really, um, I, see, I shouldn't be saying this, you should just read the should just read the proposal because it's not fair that I'm able to give you more information and other I don't really think that's true, Denise, because this is an open meeting. Oh. So anyone, anyone could come. Well, I don't know how you feel. I, I mean Well, you just give it a second. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I'm a little embarrassed because of course I think this is just so incredibly wonderful. We have 27 oral histories from older adults. They told their stories but how they managed to get through the two, first two and a half years of COVID. And we've interviewed people who are from ages 55 and one person is 92. And it's a partnership with the uh, Franklin Medical Reserve Corps. I'm a volunteer for them and Greenfield Community College. And the stories that you hear from these folks about what they did, not only are they wonderful, but it also like busts some of the myths about older people in rural communities. And I can tell you what some of those are. You know, we think, oh, all older people are digital dinosaurs. Well, that isn't true. One of the things that we found out was people really needed to be connected digitally. And that's one of the ways that they survive. So what happens is you, you take some of these stories, you build on it. We're also talking to people who were healthcare providers during the first two and a half years of COVID, all in Franklin County. And so these are going to be people you know. They're going to be our neighbors in all the towns in Franklin County. Many from Deerfield, of course, because that's where I live. And, um, and it's woven together so that we see what two and a half years in Franklin County during COVID were like for older adults. And this can be used as research for a lot of social scientists, yeah. a lot of people in public health. So see, this is what we should be able to say in the proposals. But that I didn't write the proposal. So can, anyway. I, can I say something? Yes. I think, um, I think it sounds awesome. I would love to attend. And I also think that given all the heat that's happened in Deerfield between the library and the seniors, I think it could be a really great way to bridge that gap mm -hmm. and have the seniors feel heard and seen and appreciated. So wow. my vote would be a yes. Um, because I think okay. it can enhance our community oh. and help us come together a little bit more because that was um, not so fun for many people. And I think it just could be very nice. I also just looked at the applications and it's pretty, to me, pretty clear that it's in South Deerfield, so. I know, but I honestly, because I'm part of this, I really feel like it's unfair for me to have said what I just said. And I just want that to be Part of the public record, I, I, it's very uncomfortable for me, but I fully believe in this. And when we do the full scale performance, I'm I'm just I'm so excited for these 27 people and more than 27 people who will have their voices heard and who maybe in 50 years, all of these oral histories are going to be archived at GCC. Yeah. And in 50 years, people may be able to hear them again and understand what it was like to live here. I think I just, it's cool. It's I for me, it's a yes. Yeah. It, yeah, for me too. Regardless of what oh. Denise said, yes. I feel like yeah, uh, it's fine. Looking at the application, I think it's awesome. Yes. Oh gosh, you guys. Well, okay, you all get free tickets. Oh wait, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like okay, let's take let's pretend we didn't hear anything Denise said. Okay. Every single oh, funding priority. My husband's calling. I must leave for a moment. Okay. Bye, Denise. Yeah, it meets every funding priority. I think it's. I think, it's oh, absolutely. I think it's very cool. And Denise described it. She didn't uh, give propaganda. No, no. and this is an open meeting. So I yeah. feel comfortable with all of that. And Laura, I think that was a really important insight too. Yeah. Thank you. 
Well, I don't know if Denise is done talking to her husband, but we can move on. Do you decide how much money? Oh, there we go. Well, so I'm putting in their full ask to start. And then if we need to do partial at the end, we can do that. But let's just keep uh, going. Tanya Le Le Lemus? Lemus? Yeah, it was a yes. I forget this. Is this the one that's at the. Um... Oh my gosh. Okay. Tibetan okay. Plaza. Botanical art workshop mini series. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really different. It's different. It's for teens. We never do anything for teens. So yeah. But it says not in Deerfield. What is that? No, um, it's in I Deerfield. like that it's different and in a different. I'm oh, sorry. Location. I'm sorry. I was looking down. Okay. So yes. 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 I think it's really different. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. Um, oh, okay. So we have a um, split here. So Olivia, yeah. Berta, make your make your. It's cake. only a hundred bucks, but it's not in Deerfield. I mean, it's a great right. project, but it's not in Deerfield. Yeah, Lava is kind of like Hilltown Families in that it's based in Greenfield, but people from all around go there. It's like a hub of um, like performing arts um, opportunities and um, networking and that sort of thing. Um, and I would definitely say no if it weren't such a, a low ask so that, I mean, because again, I don't know how many people from Deerfield utilize this. I do know people who've gone there, a number of people who've gone there. I don't know people who go regularly. Um, so I just, I mean, if we're not allowed to give a hundred dollars, then we should pass on it for sure. Um, but it just it's seems like encouraged. they want us to do 250 and above. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to call it a maybe and see what, but if we can't give 250, if we can't give less than 250, should we just say no? It's not that we can't, it's that it's discouraged. Oh, Denise, what? Is this for a project or is this just to support LAVA, the LAVA Center? Does anybody know? Uh, I don't I remember. We'd have to okay. look. I know. Okay. I knew at the time. <laughs> no, I did too. <laughs> it was so hard. It was so long ago. We're just going to say this as many times so poor Chris feels I like. Know. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> um, eight play readings. Eight play readings. Yeah. Oh. Live at the Lava Center and online. And it's new plays by diverse local playwrights. Right. But they don't say which towns they're from. Um, I don't know if people are from Deerfield, but um, the it's sliding scale or free if you don't have any money. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Yeah. Why don't we say maybe? Let's say maybe. Okay. And since they're only asking for a hundred bucks, like yeah. maybe if we have like a little extra, we can throw it there. Okay. Right, the leftover. Yeah. No venue. No. <laughs> no. Um, James Mazafaro. Here, let me do. Oh, that's gotta be Jimmy Maz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Is this less infuriating to watch now that I'm control effing? <laughs> it is easier. <laughs> it's a holiday singing program. Oh, we don't yeah. do anything at holiday time here. It's a seniors holiday um, sing along. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah. Looks like I think it's at the senior center again. It's at the senior center. That's what it just yeah, said. But it's $1,500. That's a lot of our money. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe partial funding. That's what I thought. Yeah, m maybe we could say, um, well, I think it's more of a yes, don't you? Yes, but partial? Yeah, we could just say yes. And just again, so we don't get lost in our thoughts, we could say 500 minimum. So if we have 100 bucks left over, we could give them 600. Does that sound good? Sure. That's a, That sounds good. Okay, so then we have two back to back that we're not in Deerfield. Yep. Is everyone comfortable with yep. me just saying no? Yeah, no. Right. So that's twin, number 20. It's also a no. 
Yeah, 20 okay. and 21 were both um, not. 2021. Yeah, and now we're going on to new people evaluating these because yeah, that's we're on to Marilyn Morales. Yeah, that was me and you, Emily, correct? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Well, it was me and somebody. Olivia? Who? Who else? Don't move my hair. I can I can pull it up. <laughs> Emily. It was Emily. It, it was, was Emily. Yeah. Oh. Maybe it was the um, other Emily. Oh, oh yeah. Emily but, Luker. Oh. The other, ah, the other Emily. Okay. I was like, I don't think so, but I believe you. But <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, it was an opera. I this was really interesting. It's an opera, but it's going to be in Miami. Mm, uh, no. I don't. I don't know. No. So I guess that that's a no. I put down no because clearly it's okay. not in Deerfield. <laughs> oh, but if you're in Deerfield, you'll be able to hit a link and go and watch the opera that's going to be in Miami. So is that a no? I think it's no. a no. At 23 is hip hop. Once again, it's for seniors. I have to say, I think it would be hilarious. So uh, our um, rep from the MCC said like, this is the thing that every town is doing right now is hip hop, hip -hop for seniors. You know, oh, go ahead. Oh, oh no, no I'm ahead. just saying yes and enthusiastically. <laughs> I think if you can get, and, and, and let me just say, you know, seniors, that doesn't, that means like that's pretty young. We're not thinking, you know, we're thinking people, you know, 50 and up. So um, getting people to dance, I don't do hip hop. I'd love to do hip hop. I'll probably go to this if we fund it. It's also a very reasonable ask. Yes. I yes. think it's cool. I like it. I think it's funny that every small town seems to be doing <laughs> hip hop for seniors. I'm sure and they. I think that, not that this weighs our decision, but I do think they were the first to submit. So they're very organized, which I. Good. Yeah. I'm sure they uh, have safety precautions for seniors. I think they have insurance. <laughs> yes. They actually, I said in the proposal that for some people, they can do this in a chair. But it's also explaining hip hop and how it has really oh, like taken good. over music and what the yeah, cultural ramifications cool. I are. Great. I think that is really great. Um, yes. What number are we on? 24? 24. David Neal. Oh, um, it's uh, jazz at the library. It meets all of our cr criteria. It's, you know, it's in Deerfield. It's jazz. I said yes. Based, I mean, if we feel like we have too much going on at the Tilton, then maybe not, but it's good. All right, well, let's say yes and do, um, and we could always do partial funding. Okay. If needed. Max, do you know David Neal? No. I know of him, but I, I haven't, uh, I haven't worked with him or played with him. All right. The next one is the Nelson Legacy Project. Uh, anybody who knows Juanita and Wally Nelson know that they were, incredible activists. They lived in Woman Hill, which is here in Deerfield. They lived without electricity. They lived without plumbing. They, Juanita started the big community outside meal on the common. And this is gonna be a weekend workshop. They call it a workshop in one part of their project. And here I, I see, I wrote down festival. I think they called it that too, um, to celebrate her legacy. It, it's for both of them, but basically Juanita's legacy. It's wonderful. It it feel it meets most of our most of our criteria. Yes. It will take place outside. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I say yes. Too. I think it's wonderful. It's and we haven't done anything like this. I like it. So just really, the money the money must go to Woman Hill. I think it goes to organize the festival, which is ha which I think Woman Hill is organizing, if I can That's remember great. the project well. That's great. Sure, we can find out. We can just look at their budget. Yeah. Her hundredth birthday. That is great. Yeah, I, I think it'll bring a lot of people who might not always come to Deerfield. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's space, marketing, salaries, equipment, supplies, ASL interpreter is in here. And you know that it's it. I mean, they will cover all the bases in terms of accessibility and yeah. stuff because that's who yeah. they are. I mean, that's that's our and peace center. Actually, now. I'd love to see more at Woman Hill. Like that would, would be too. 
it's a good space. Like yeah, that it is. should be a more um, utilized venue in Deerfield. I agree. Yep. Okay. Um, North Star, love what they do, but they're just, they're asking for money for an interpreter for the deaf, which I think is absolutely wonderful, but I don't think local cultural council is the organization to provide funding for mm -hmm. this. So I said no. Looks like Emily's, I don't know which yeah. of you is which, but you said basically the same thing. Um, the uh, Okoto, I think that's how you say it, cultural center. They're doing really wonderful work. This is number 27 uh, in terms of indigenous peoples and um, building awareness for what, uh, what the indigenous folks did and are now still doing in this area, but this is located in Ashfield. Mm. They, they are supported really well. I'd love to support them, but they are in Ashfield. So it would be like us supporting, you know, double-edged theater, which I think is wonderful also, but so that, you know. I mean, I do think historically in Deerfield, like our relationship with indigenous people has some, <laughs> some roots that it would be nice to do some healing by supporting where we can. Um, but maybe this is like a maybe and we see what's maybe left over. Yep. Well, I Agreed. see Nolan Bika has two oh, good. projects. So right. I think we can cover this, but we can, yeah, we can say a maybe. Okay. I have okay. a feeling we're gonna use all of our money on the yeses anyway, so. Yeah. But I, you know, I think we can all agree that that's a very worthwhile endeavor. All right, so number 28, that's us also. Um, it's a Dear Ella is a swing band. If anybody went to the gala, um, New Year's Eve or the Jubilee, um, the, uh, the folks who are in, um, oh God, help me out. What's the name of the people who the played? O-Tones. Yeah, the O-Tones. <laughs> I listen to them all the time. I dance to them all the time. Um, Mary is part of this Dear Ella group. So, you know, they're going to be playing really good swing, but once again, it's outside and uh, it's at the Tilton. <laughs> but it's swing music and it's open for a lot of people. I mean, you know, there's no dance floor, but people will love to listen to Well, you heard what they played on Saturday night. How much are the tickets? That's what I was going to ask because I love swing and I went to the concert this summer um, at the Tilton with swing and it was so awesome. But it says it's very expensive ticket charge. I thought it said free if it's at the it Tilton. It says free. Let's go back and read it. I, 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 it's going to be outside at the Tilton, so I don't know how they would charge. I know. 10 it's to $20. Different. How are they going to wow. do that? Wow. That's surprising. It is. Um, hmm. yeah. it's, I'm a yeah. yes. You're a yes? I'm a yes. I'm yes for swing. The you only take thing those is lessons with me, I can tell. <laughs> the only thing is when people go to the Tilton and it's outside, they expected it to be free. You know, yeah, I they wonder just, how they're gonna do that. I think a lot of people will show up. I think Roberta's is exactly right. I think people will show up and they'll what be turned away. I mean, I, I don't see that happening, but then the people who pay the money, they're gonna be sad they paid the money and all the other people mm -hmm. are there for free. I think I don't I I'm surprised that it's charging and I'm Unhappy yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised too, especially if they're asking for it. You know, I, if I this would be worth being one of those ones um, in which we say that we would like them to come back and explain something to us so that we can move forward on it because that just doesn't make sense. I know. Yeah, they say they're expecting 50 people at at least $10 a head. I wonder if they're expecting people to purchase tickets ahead of time, because how would you possibly? Right. But it's it's free for oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, wait a minute. How will you adjust the project if we cannot fund the entire amount by admission? By admission. Um, see above. So, so they'll they don't raise the price. Hundred, they'll have ticket prices. Because they're asking for 500. They're expecting 50 people at $10. So. If but they don't get us to pay for them. Of participation, sliding scale times 20. But as someone said, if it's outdoors, you can't police it. I mean, people right. can just stand across the street. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. I feel like we have so, so many at this the Tilton. We have so many music things. We have mm. so many that are free for Deerfield residents. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's other things where I feel like a sliding scale of 10 to $20 is totally reasonable. It's just that it's outside of the tilt and it's right. a little odd. Right. Okay, I take back my yes okay. and I change it to no. Too bad. But that doesn't mean they're not gonna come. That's right. You can still go to the- Well, I'm, I think what they're saying is if we don't fund them, then they will charge for tickets. No, that's I think it's I read, both. That's how I read what that if proposal If we don't says. fund them, they will charge more for tickets. It's 10 to $20. And they said, if they, they don't get our funding, they will make that up with using a higher admission. Hmm. Strange. Well, that's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number okay. 29. Pioneer Valley Symphony, I would give them tons of money. I think they're a fabulous resource in town, but they're in Greenfield mm -hmm. and they're going to be playing in Greenfield. So, no, that's too bad. Yeah, they're wonderful. Um, it's still us, um, the uh, Pity Theater, they're really wonderful. Um, this was crazy because it's called A Night in the Deerfield Museum featuring the PVMA items which will be shown at the Garden Cinema in Greenfield and also offered online. It was so confusing. This is not happening at PVMA. So they're putting together a documentary, which is called A Night in the Deerfield Museum, which sounds really cool, but it's gonna be shown at the Garden Cinema in Greenfield. So I was really, conf I was confused here. And then the funds are for online viewing only. It just sounds too crazy, but I think I love the concept. It's also a lot of money, $900. Yeah, we wouldn't fund the whole amount. But they're, they're creating a documentary, which, you know, lasts a oh, while. Wow, there we go. Yeah, it seems as if if we want to show this in the future in our community center, when we have one. <laughs> <laughs> it could be possible. So see, yes, you're right, Pat. See what they were going to do. They're really going to talk about this person. They're going to, John Putnam, the father mm -hmm. of contradance. That's cool. Born into slavery. And he was living in Greenfield. And his stuff is in the PVMA. And Angeline Palmer, freeborn African-American, raised in Amherst, Alms House. Mm. You know, this is kind of cool. And I guess a mm. lot of her things are in the PVMA also. I think it's a great idea. And PVMA so, definitely needs our support, but. I guess the only reason, I, my my devil's advocate for a yes yeah. is where else would they show it in Deerfield? Yeah, right. It's about Deerfield. It's cool history. It hits every other mark. Where would they show it? Well, just let me be a snot and say, since they're using stuff from PVMA, you'd think the Deerfield Academy would let us use their fabulous little theater, but you know that doesn't. Not, you I, does it I cost think, anything? I mean, I would have no problem partially funding it. Does it cost just, anything? To ah, build it? yeah, good question. Oh. I I don't remember. Um, that's it's, up here, right? It's a free event. Oh, okay. wow. I think we should give them, you know, partial. Yeah, I, I do too. Do we ever show movies outdoors in Deerfield? Um, it seemed to me we did. We should. We could fund it and then tell them that we think that they should also show it in Deerfield. I, <laughs> think, I think our chair, our chair should say that. <laughs> but I think that sorry was some, was Laura, Laura were you about to say something? Um, I think they have shown outdoor or tried to at one point. I think it was through the library or the Deerfield Rec. I'm not sure. But then I also wondered, and I don't know if this is possible. Can they ever use the theater at um, Frontier? Frontier? That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't see why that wouldn't be, but Olivia, you might know more about that, or Max. Max probably knows more than I, but there is a pull-down screen in the auditorium. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't that know if we have the great. right movie stuff. They may need a movie theater that has, like, that kind of projectory, whatever's at a movie theater, but I don't, I wouldn't really know. I but we used to, C3 used to, right we used to show outside movies um, on the side of the, that white church by Bill Tilton. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, at Frontier, they show movies as part of their curriculum. Mm-hmm. So it's a positive. So why didn't they think of that? I mean, I, I guess, but like none of those are movie theaters. Like they're not, it's still mm-hmm. like a homegrown. Yeah. Like if we're, if we're trying happen. to do like a higher end, like let's yeah. showcase this, you know. Yeah. I, I, yeah. My feeling I still say partial because part of deer, I mean, it is, I don't know. I don't know. I'll shut I up. I do want the PVMA. Like this, this feels like they're very aligned with a lot of our priorities, except I agree. we don't have a, we don't have a cinema. Right. We can do that next. It can be part of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll be on that committee. Yeah. That's it. So. <laughs> So should we say partial or a Yeah, bit? I'm saying partial and I'll put like a 500 here and let's just see. Okay, 31. Uh, Alyssa, let me see. I can't even remember. Turner's Falls Discoveries Center. Yeah, see another yeah. indigenous discussion. Oh, it was about the mural. Okay, so that would be really wonderful because as you know, we are trying to get a mural uh, that, well, you know, that, that shows the Pecumtucks going down the Connecticut River here in town, we are working on that, but this clearly is in Turner's, so. I said no because of the location. That's the only reason. And what it is, is you're gonna be walking down and looking at the mural, uh, and they're gonna be talking about how they put it together and what all it means. So it is an outside thing, but it doesn't meet our location criteria. Yeah, and I don't think people from Deerfield will take advantage of it probably probably not as much as they should where i like going back one that's another argument for this one is like i could see a lot of people from deerfield going to this screening Mm -hmm. of this documentary Mm -hmm. okay okay so is that a no i'm saying no that's a no okay i wrote down no so number 32 uh, i have that one also um, it's a it's an interesting play about intimate apparel. It's about a person who created undergarments. She was a person of color. Uh, it, it, it would be a really interesting uh, play, I, uh, but it's going to be um, at Hawks and Reed in Greenfield. So it doesn't meet our criteria. And it looks like Emily also said that it was expensive. Yeah. And that was the last one that I have until we get to number 44. Okay, and then I'm with you, Denise. So you were with both Emily's. Oh, God, I'm so but lucky. That's... <laughs> you weren't crazy. Oh, dear. Okay, good. All right. Um, who had 33? Me and Max. All right, take us through. Um, well, we both said yes, I see. Um, I've, I've forgotten any details that aren't, aren't, aren't. Okay, all right. I think this was the, I think this was like storytelling and puppet, puppetry. Good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and it was a pretty low amount and it was just like, and they've been, I think they've done it before. And I just now was thinking, is there some criteria that we're not doing repeated? I don't know if they've ever gotten funding from the LCC. But. There's only a rule about it if they've done successive like three okay. years in a row so okay. but i think they said something like they've already they're already uh, in communication with the classroom teachers so it seems pretty I'm like yeah so like is this anna sobel a puppeteer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. students will learn how to build their own puppets and then create with them that's kind of fun yeah. cool yeah it's a low ask too all right let's say Yes? Sure. We don't have any puppets going on. We don't have any puppets happening. Huh. We have hip hop. We have hip hop. <laughs> um, just real quick, do you have to, I know it's suggested, but should you give her 250? What did she ask uh, for? She asked 200. for 200. I don't think we have to give 250. I think that that is their preferred of, or I think they recommended it for bookkeeping purposes because people right, were giving like 129 and you know, that sort of thing. 
All right. I'm sure she little... won't say no to a little bit more money. <laughs> it looks like she's volunteering all of her time because the stuff is just for supplies. Yeah. Can you give more than they ask? Is that? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Power. As long as you're not, I think, well, never mind. Okay. Society to benefit everyone. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it seemed like some sort of um, YouTube, like a, a video project that wasn't really clear about how it, it encompassed a lot of different communities. And it just wasn't clear that it really directly involved our community anyway. Agree. Well, based on that, are we saying no? I, I said no. <laughs> I feel like if both reviewers say no, I feel pretty. Somebody said yes. Nope. No. No. They're, okay. Could, I'm on to the next 34. one. That was 34. Oh, 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 my apologies. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Right. Don't apologize. You're fine. Well, I know that, but I just wanted to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Special Needs Advocacy Network. What is it for? Free. <laughs> I remember, but it was something. Yeah, can we look and see what they want to do? We sure can. I knew you'd say that. It was a state, it's a statewide, I think. Um, yeah, let's look at it. I can't remember. I can't either. Dollars. What does it do? Okay. Outcomes. Oh, yes. This, this did sound good. Okay, through social media outreach, 54 students with disabilities from your town will be invited to submit a piece of digital artwork representing their vision for their own future. Oh, yeah, we love it. That's very cool. Yeah, that's a definite yes. That's a yes. I love yeah, it. And it doesn't cost anything for them to participate. What was yeah, that? Cool. It just doesn't cost anything for them to participate. So, yeah, that was a big reason as well. Um, yeah, the only reason I said for 36 was just that. <clears throat> You know, it's it's a small amount. It's live music at the Survival Center. I know it's in Amherst. I the only thing I said was just I don't know. Do we have people in our town that use that? You know, and if so, I guess that I don't know if that qualifies as one of our priorities. But um, are they doing something, or is it just to keep them going? I oh, I think it's for music. That's it's a it's for a series of um, bringing in artists to play for people who are there. It is a cool idea. It's nice. It's only a hundred bucks yeah. on Fridays. Tunes but, at noon. Feeding the whole person. Pretty cool. But obviously, yeah, it is in Amherst, but I just wasn't sure if we if there was something that, you know, if, if we have residents that you know are making they use might. of that. I do yeah. know that there are families at Frontier who need to to and do utilize the Amherst Survival Center for food stuff. So maybe it should be a maybe if we have some money left over because we did exclude other people who had really good projects because they weren't Deerfield local, you know, right? Focused, right. but it is a great project. I love it. I guess I, my thinking, and I'm I'm comfortable with it maybe, but my thinking was these are people who are already going there, as opposed to well maybe we can draw some residents to come see a concert. You know, this is. Though this will may potentially already be serving people from our town who will just be there, but um, but yeah, I think it makes sense to right. see where we're at, yes, yeah. And the ask is so small that, like, if we do mm. have some left over, maybe that's one to consider, right? Okay, um, Friends of Great Falls, we look at that one now. Is this our second discovery center? Mm -hmm. Hmm. But we didn't say yes to the other one, right? This one. We did not, because that was the one about the mural. Oh. Oh, you're right. Hmm. What is this one then? Hold on. I have to get through. Yeah. Uh, I have a question, um, Chair. Mm. 
we don't know, do we, if some of these groups have also applied, say, to the Turner's Cultural Council. Most of them have applied to many have. of the council bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they must have. And that's part of, so their budget, that's why if their budget's 2750, they're asking right. for yeah. 200, right? So they're probably hoping for multiple. Right, grants. right. Well, the one we just looked at was, I'll, I'll give you held at the Shea. And so they have that rental, $500 rental fee. Is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, no. this is. Is this Erica Wheeler? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is she gonna do? So. Okay, well, this is clearly uh, in Turner, so. Okay. But what? It is a Smithsonian oh. exhibit. Which is cool. But, well, do you want to make a case? No, 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 that's all right. I was just unclear. So, if it takes place outside of our community, we just don't, even if it's, you know, next door. Um, it's not that it, we just don't, but we're going to prioritize ones that do. Okay. And so, it, part of it is like how what's the likelihood that residents of Deerfield will participate. And also, I think to me, it has to rise to a certain level of general interest, right? I mean, right. Yeah. well, that's what I mean. So like you could make an argument that it's a Smithsonian exhibit and that people, it has a general. Yeah, I think what, <clears throat> like with that one, if I'm remembering, it was very specifically targeted to our community and the communities in the area. It was like the programming was directly related to Deerfield and other towns. So Wait, are we still talk we still talking about the Friends of the Great Falls? 37, 37, yeah. 37. Can we yeah. read it then? Can we yeah. go back to where they're gonna do it? Her it's program will the connect show. the themes presented during the six weeks of that the Smithsonian's traveling exhibit, Crossroads Change in Rural America, will be at the Discovery Center. See, this, what got yeah, me was was the, Shea. the sense of place thing. I'm I'm just a sucker for that. So that's what got me in. Yeah, so, I mean, I think that's for me as well when I was reading that. I mean, again, back to what other venues are there for X, Y, right. and Z. And if it's, I think this is free, right? No cost. So I think that was part of my th thinking too. It's like, it's free. It's about the area. You know, you, it's hard okay. to, you know. I can be convinced. Well, no, I... No, but it's but it's not at the Discovery Center. It's at the Shea. Mm -hmm. Is it? Hold on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. First so she paragraph. has it in her budget, but but right here, the Friends oh. will host a yeah. culminating program at the Shea with a performance by the songwriter. So the six weeks at the traveling exhibit will. Oh, okay. So for six weeks, it'll be at the Discovery Center, and then it'll be at the Shea. The culminating program will mm -hmm. be at the Shea. Yeah, the exhibit will be at the. Discovery Center. Okay, so, that, so the concerts incorporate song story and audience engagement to help diverse groups find the stories that connect them to their sense of place. So are we gonna go to that? I think it sounds wonderful, but I mean, yeah. are people gonna go to that? Well, it's two things. It's the exhibit and the performance. And mm -hmm. the exhibit is six weeks. So I thought that was good. What are they asking for? Only 200? Listen, let's say yes. Let's put the amount in and let's see at the end if we need to make cuts. Good. Nolan Buka. Oh, did I say that wrong? Nolan Buka, I think. Nolan Buka. I love, I love them. Me yeah. too. But somebody has to tell us what this particular program is because yep. there are two of them here and I don't know the difference. Who was the- That uh, was, that Max. was me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, can we look at the document real quick? Yes, we can. You know, or, or even just the write up, Max. even just the write up the column, if you go over to the left, it might. Yeah, it does help, but let's just get there. Um, 
Well, that, that so this one. is full snow moon, Eastern woodlands gathering and social dance. Am I? I can't write. I I I can't read it. It makes my head spin. So I, I know. I know. Sorry. That's I'm not sorry. it. We're past it. <clears throat> so both of these do not take place in Deerfield. Uh, one is at GCC and one's at Turner's Unity Park, both outside, I believe. Um, but it's and well, and native festivals. It's native celebration. I think of native. For opportunity to learn and participate okay. in native Here. social wait, dances. Wait, wait, wait. This is February 4th. Yes. At Greenfield Community College. Stay there. Now let's get under the next one slowly. Let's go to page three and read what it says. Because the one after this is their Homelands Festival. Okay. Right. To learn and participate in social dances. Oh, this would be so good. Yeah, I want to go to this. Yeah, yeah I do too. Free, ask for donations. Okay, we need to really think about this though, because we've rejected other really good projects because they were not in Deerfield. Yeah, and I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I know. And just because we like Nolan Bika. <laughs> no, I hear you. Well, um, some of the ones we rejected were like, well, you can see it online, you know, or it, it wasn't even related to Deerfield per se, you know? Yeah. And I think part of what is compelling about this is it's about, you know, we've talked about native culture and our town's relationship with native culture. And I think it's a helpful thing to be trying to fund. And it's just next door, you know, it's- Good point. I agree, great. I agree, especially with our 350th um, coming up, I think we need to do all we can to show uh, our support for, the native cultures. Pat, I agree with you, but the next project is their Homelands Festival, which- So is let's a, see what- And we have to, I, I, part, I don't know. I just feel like other people will say, but wait a minute, ours is just as wonder. I don't know, this is just me trying to be devil's advocate right now. No, I think that it's important because we also, people who are rejected do get to appeal it if they want to, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Well, let's read what their next one is because I think mm -hmm. that's Homelands Festival. Okay. <clears throat> Which if I'm sure we've all been to, it's really lovely. Okay, there we so go. here's Yeah, Homelands. it's the, yeah. the, 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 the and that's in Homelands August. Festival. Right, and it's right on the river in Turner's. Here we go. Oh, that's a great one. It's wonderful. We've been yes. for the last three years. It's just great. And it's free. And again, you know, if you think of native, native cultures, right. they don't necessarily follow the boundaries of our towns, right? So it's, True. you know, I, I guess, so I, I do understand the, you know, the concern about not wanting to reject some, but I don't sure there was that many that we outright said, well, it's just not in Deerfield. So no, I think there was other reasons, you know? Yeah. And okay. I think we have compelling reasons within our priorities, the diversity and other things that, you know, I, I guess that's my, my feeling about that. Well, I mean, I'll be going to both of these, whether we fund them or not. So, <laughs> you know, my, my, I'm all for both of these projects. I just don't want anyone to come back and say that we were the critical or unfair or something. So whatever you guys I, think is fine. Well, let's say yes, let's put them in and then we're going to have to go right back to the top. I mean, there's a reason why this meeting is two hours long, right? So, yeah, yeah. Um, but they yes. 50 and 500, they both want. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it might be that we say, like, we can't afford both. So we pick one because we want to support it. We might say we want to partially fund both projects. Like, I think there's. Yeah. Um, That's a good idea. Opportunity to, like, get a little creative. We're almost at, at the end. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're into Tilton. Yes. For Tilton by Tilton. Well, what the heck are these now? Who had these? Um, I think um, my big Tilton question was if, if it's not outdoors, 
where are they going to be? Um, and also, we don't know, um, tell me if I'm wrong, if the Tilton might not be moving, moving books out um, mm. in the near future. That's a good point. So I, I was a little confused about their space. Well, so all of these look like they're in warmer months. So this says Tilton Library Backyard. Tilton Library Backyard. Okay. I bet this is outside. I don't know about this one. But we can confirm. Want some fabrics. What are they going to do, though? I mean, that's on. Okay, this is all Tilton. Yeah, it's about small businesses. The Swanson Fabrics. Is yeah, yeah, but I mean, I wonder what they're going to do. Yeah, so she just talk. <laughs> gotten in touch with me about her application, um, but I don't remember <laughs> this was months ago. <laughs> well, we have three for Tilton right here. So we yeah, so empowering young people through fabric arts. Oh, three educators different. from the local small business Swanson's Fabric will visit the Tilton Public Library to give a ninety-minute workshops on the basics of hand sewing with teens in South Deerfield. It's different. That's for yeah. teens. We only did one other thing for teens. We did. And that would probably um, be inside downstairs in their children's library. I would no, it's going to be in the teen room, Denise. <laughs> right, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> OK. Oh, well, they could have it at the new senior center. Oops. I think um, it's kind of fun, and I like how it's um, different, like a craft. Yeah, different. So much stuff is performance based and um, uh, music. So I don't know. I kind of like how it's supporting teens and learning how to do a skill or okay. maybe like a craft. Oh, I, agree. I see. I think I think this was my question. I'm not sure why it's just on teens. It, it sounds as if anybody could join this. It sounds fun to me. I'd go. Yeah. Plus it's different. Yeah, it's different. You know, I, so I would say yes, it's only 150. All right. Yeah, I think I was confused on, on the space. The last time I was in the children's room, I couldn't imagine uh, having a class of any sort in there, really. I think that they, um, they're only, I think, trying to have 10 kids sign up. So, oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. So I don't. All right. Does that change how, how we're answering this, or do we want to say yes and then see? I'll say yes. Yeah. I think it's just different. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tilton. Knows. Does it meet guidelines one three? Hey guys, there's another one about fabric, <laughs> number forty two, but we don't want to go there yet. We're at um. Yeah, that one looks fun. <laughs> And what are they going to do here for number 41 for drums? Are we going to have a drumming circle? It says, hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's uh, just get to the next tilt. I think both people said no too. So yeah. I know that's true. I trust people making the decision. Library beats drum and rhythm. A other day from drum to the beat. West yeah, African, the... South American, Middle East, and First Nations people. Why did we say no? Um, good question. Oh, they're drum circles. I, they're fabulous. Drum circles are so good, guys. Um, hmm. What are priorities one, three, and four? <laughs> well, I think one yeah. is intergenerational, which yeah. I don't know. It seems like that could be. Uh, yeah. Three, I think, is COVID, which I think we sort of clarified this is outdoors yeah. and four is ADA which again I think the drum circle is certainly accessible to everyone. Is this um and this is free right? Mm -hmm. Seven hundred and fifty dollars though. Yes. You say yes Marshall? no it's seven fifty. Seven fifty right? Right. Yeah. Well you know I'm just reading ahead to 42 which is another fabric thing. I think if we were going to have to look at all three, I would say 40 and 41, they're very different and very good. And then we could not fund number 42, which is also dyeing fabric, which is kind of fun, but I don't know. 
drum circles are really good for a lot of things. I mean, it really helps people learn how to do things together. I've been in only two of them, but that's my experience. I like that 40 is teen focused because yeah. I think we only have one other that's for teens. Yeah. I like that the drum is so many different styles of drumming. I think right, that's me too. Neat. So maybe, oh, hi, Max. Um, so maybe we do all. Maybe we have enough money to do all of them. The magic of indigo. And then, that we, can just, then we can decide. All right. Okay. All right. Very ambitious of us, but okay. Oh boy, and now we have mindful movement. Tilt in library. I know. Dance workshops, mindful movement. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> I mean, really, they do. They do great work. We love Tilden. ADA details needed before funding, especially since it includes those with mobility issues. Okay, that's a good point. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't see how you can do that outside. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna say the two people who really looked at these should make the decision. Well, looking at it now, I'm, I'm thinking, no. Are we on 42 or 43? I'm on 43. Okay, what did we decide about 42 though? We're saying yes for now. For dying? Yeah. Well, not for dying, Denise. We're all going to do it. 43. You're saying yes? Is that, is that, is that it, Pat? No to 40, no to 43. No to, 40. no to 43? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, just, it just the um, physical problems of dancing um, inside the Tilton. But do we know when that one is? September, I think. September? Yeah, I think it's a, indoors if, if raining. So I think the intention is to be outside. Who's doing this? Are we on Roger? No, we're still on Tilton number 43 with the yeah. well, I mean, even outside, I think I think it's um, dancing and hip hopping um, for for can we read more of the uh, description there in the gray box? Can somebody, I don't want to do it. Somebody just- Here, I'll go to it. the other. Yeah. Yes, I, I think we need to read it. So it does say one of the lines is all bodies, including seniors, those working with limited mobility and those with years of dance are welcome. Well, that's good. Okay, yeah. here's VAT dying. Well, okay. we said yes to that. And well, for now. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, number okay, 43 was gentle movement class focused on building skills to help ground and calm our bodies, minds, and spirits. That's okay, awesome. here we are. Yeah. I mean, that is nice. Hold on. I need, to get, gentle. I need to get rid of this. Hold on. Wow. All right, but they didn't, who is doing this? That was your question. Yeah, I was just curious. No, I'd, I'd like to know also. Oh, yeah. Who is community dance? I don't know. Yeah. Who's doing it? I feel like community dance is in Greenfield. It would say up, upstairs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Can Candace, go Candace Bradbury. No, that's, no she's the library. library director. Director. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think okay, it's that. Max. <laughs> don't feel bad. It doesn't say. No, it doesn't it have to say at the top. Well, no, because the at the top it's just from Candace. The project title is Mindful Movement and Community yeah. Dance, and then it's just describing them. But I don't think it says they didn't even name people who are going to do this. Wait a minute, maybe it does. Anna Hendricks. Anna Hendricks. Anna Hendricks. Does anyone know Anna Hendricks? Um, let's read no. this. I mean, she's probably she has a BA in dance. Yeah, I'm sure and... she's great. Well, I feel like um, I 
All right. Two fifty. We're almost done. Come on, let's get some energy here. We're almost yes, done. Two fifty and keep going. Yeah. So you 250. want to say yes? Yes. Two fifty. Yeah, okay. Fine. Okay. Number forty-four. That was me and the uh, and this Emily. So yes, go ahead, yes, Emily. I'm back. Um, okay. So this was children's songs at the Tilton. I kind of felt like it's free, but it was with everything else at the Tilton and being so children focused. I, I said maybe, but I didn't feel particularly strong one way or the other. I said no because we have funded him. I don't know, probably I don't know how many years. I don't know. Thousand times. Row, yeah. But we've funded him a lot. He's very good, but this is nothing new. Okay. No offense, Roger. So I said no. Okay. I feel like we're really heavy on Tilton right now, guys. I'm we just are I know. I know. That's why we're gonna have to go back. All right. Okay. Edward. Edward, this is um I uh can I just say uh, this is being recorded. So this is the New England <laughs> Sax and Wind Quartet. He's been, Ed has been around for a long time. He's very good at what he does. Um, he would do a great show. It's going to be at Memorial Hall Museum. So it's on an old deer field. That's different. He does get funding from us. Not real often, but every once in a while. But other than that, he meets all the other criteria. But it would be at Memorial Hall. So it's going to be a totally, not a totally, but a pretty different group from those who might go and listen to him playing outside of the Tilton. That's a good Which point. is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. I like that it's an old Deerfield. Yeah. I say well, yes. I, said, I said yes. Did I, I guess I also said yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if you didn't, you are now. Okay, uh, so how does everybody feel about that? Yes? Good, yes. yes I That's think good. Mm-hmm. And then the final one that we had, um, hold on, am I right? Yeah, the final one is really different. I don't know, you guys. This is a person who's gonna come in and he's once again at the Tilton, but he's gonna do songs of Johnny Cash. I love Johnny Cash. I, mean, I gotta say, we don't have any country happening here anywhere. Uh, I've, he's okay. new. I read about him. He's done this in other places, so he's not just deciding, oh, hey, I think I'm going to try to sing some Johnny Cash songs. Um, I read his newest clippings. Mm -hmm. It meets the criteria, and he's not performed in Deerfield before. A lot of people will go to that. Yeah, yeah I think it sounds fun. Different. <laughs> okay. Full amount? Yeah. Although Dolly Parton would be better, maybe. Uh, <laughs> next year, uh, we can work on it. We're allowed um, to get whatever we want. We're three thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars over. <laughs> wow! So we have to cut everything by half. No, like a third. No, three six seven five. We have to take off. Three six seven five. That's a lot. Yeah. Darn. Well, we maybe were... we should go through the the um, maybes. Yeah. Maybe get rid of everything we weren't completely set on yeah if we didn't love it and add that up and see what let we it have. go oh. i really can't i'm triggered by a let it go right now <laughs> do you want me to sing it is do i need to dress like elsa as well? <laughs> my husband right now has a crown on mm -hmm. as they've been doing elsa and Kristoff mm -hmm. all night <laughs> I'm glad you added the last part because I didn't know where you were going with the crown being on. I was like, huh? Oh, do you need to take a break? The thing is, I think we have to have the financials done next week. Do you want to take out all the maybes? Yeah. So, no, oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I was just checking the <clears throat> Deerfield Community Center when you type that in. It is a building in Old Deerfield. It's not. Is it uh, the, the Holy Family Church? It looks like an old church. I, I'm not sure which one it is, but if you just the first thing in Google, it comes up. So, where, I don't, where does it have an oh. address? Yeah. Um. I have, let me see. So it's not DA. It, no, it's um. I can't share, but it is. I think it's going to be where the community center is. Holy Family Church's community center. I bet that's what they're calling it. It's like Memorial Street. 
it's right on the corner of Memorial Street, right? The and old Main Street. Oh, that white old Deerfield. It's an old Deerfield. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's I, don't, white it's the, I don't think it's DA per se. No, no it's not DA. It's um, okay. the white church that's just down from uh, PVMA. Yeah. Okay. Well, they were right. That's the Arena Civic. So that's that one, Emily, is in Deerfield. Okay. No, no, that. So that one's 950. Which brings us up higher. Yeah. What number are we on? What number? Number two. Uh, number two. Number two. Well, we don't have to do the 950. No, but 250. Yeah, we're gonna have let's, to yeah, yeah, but let's, why don't we why don't we just concentrate on the maybes? Yeah. And go from there. Just take out the maybes. But those, okay, so here's the maybe, but I didn't put the amount. Let's take this one out. Yeah. Yep. No, no, no. This was yes, partial, but I didn't even put it in the holiday singing. Okay. 17 is 100, so you can take that out. Which one? On, uh, yeah, you got it. 17. So 17 is out? Mm hmm. Then um, what's happening with 19? We said oh. yes, but you didn't put an amount. I didn't put an amount, so I feel like. Let me just see if there's any other maybes in here, where I put. Oh, in. I think there are. So I think if they were a maybe and we didn't put an amount, I'm just making them a no. Oh. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's go back now. To maybe some of the higher ones and say, mm -hmm. like, let's go to partial. 250. 250? Do we want to say? Where are we? I'm sorry, I'm on four. OK. This is a 475 ask. And he's, he gets a lot of, he, we, we fund him frequently. That's what my notes say, Davis Bates. He's asking for the total amount, which I think is against our- um, 475. Our right. rules, isn't it? We can't fund them totally. Yeah, yeah you're right, Roberta. 250. Or do we wanna make it, okay. Partial, yeah, just give him. Can I just ask a quick, did we give 250 to number two? The old Deerfield Community Center one? Yes. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm sorry about that last one where I said let's give him 250. Um, Denise, you said we give to him a lot, right? Davis Bates. Well, I don't know if it's a lot, but I know I know he performs. Um, he performs at the Tilton frequently, but I can't I can't say it's every year. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, okay. he just perform, He just was at Women's Club. He did storytelling. I wasn't there. Everybody said he's fabulous, mm -hmm. so I know he's really mm -hmm. good. But yeah. Well, let's keep going. Okay, keep going. Um, Deerfield Rec Union Jack Band. We said yes, they're at 550. Do we want to say 250 for them? Yep. Sure. What just happened? Number six would be 250. Number seven, the STEM. Was it yes, that was a maybe, guys. Mine so says maybe. Say no. So now we have to say no. Yeah. You have to say no. Or we decide we want to fund that one over the Union Jack Band. Well, we had another STEM one, remember? Yeah, yes. yeah but that was also a maybe. Well, we said maybe, let's cross it out, and then we can always go back, because we okay. said we'd look at the maybes. This so, is the Ferguson. Family music at the library. And that's the same thing. Let's call it 250 because she asked for the whole amount. Oh, OK. Right. That's yeah. fair. Uh, kids nature at Hitchcock is number nine. Did I miss it? Oh. We have a oh. maybe on that for Hitchcock. Yeah, so I'd switch it to no, but do we want to say yes? It, I think we should fund either the Hitchcock Center one or the STEM one through the rec center just to have something STEM represented. Well, the number nine one with Hitchcock is where they walk through the town. Yeah, I like it. So I think I like we should that. do that one. And I think we do 250. 250. 250. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I can't read this. Have, oh, number this 10, like we said no. Histories. Oh, that's a good one. Could we Which do one five? Could we do 500 on that? Mm -hmm. Where are we, guys? Where are we? Oh, 15. It's a program you know nothing about. Oh, okay. 15. <laughs> Oh, we're down at number 15 already? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just passing over all oh, the I'm notes. crossing all the notes. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm not paying attention, so it doesn't. I'd I'm say okay. number 15, yeah. not row 15. Yeah, number 15. Yeah, okay. row 18. OK, 16. Um, and then I think similarly, she's asking for the whole amount, so let's call it 250. Yeah. Sure. Um, Jimmy Maz. We said yes, partial, because it was a holiday program, but I didn't put anything in, so we could say. He he asked for the full amount, too, which was right. 1500 I thought that was really high. Yeah, it was really high. And we do have a number of senior. All right, so let's say no. Does that feel too, too, mm -hmm. uh, Emily, too do you want to just check our total just to, like, remember we're on 26, but just look at our total? I can I can just stare at that number if you want and read it, it off. Two seventy. Two seventy. So we got a ways to go. I just saw yeah. eight hundred there somewhere. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're at twenty six. You said. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I thought, I thought we're at twenty two. No, 25. we were at um. Sorry, row twenty six. But okay, we're at number twenty one. Are you talking about the word at Sophie Tiny Glass Tavern? Well, that was a no. And 22 was a no. Okay. 23 okay. was hip hop, hip -hop seniors. seniors. They're asking for 280. I feel like that's very reasonable. Yeah. Um, okay. David Neal asked for six. He asked for the whole amount. We want to make that 250. Sure. How about 350? 350 because that's yeah. half. Sure. Okay. Good. Um, um, Woman Hill. Oh, we love Woman Hill. We want to call this the 500 to 500. 500. Yeah. 500. Um, Pity Theater, Night at the Deerfield Museum. Wait a minute. We are at 27. It was a maybe. Oh, oh no, we said no, right? Because it's in Ashfield. That. Yeah. Okay. We're not okay. going to do that, right? Right. Unless we okay. somehow end up with extra. Okay. And we're what not going to do the we're not going to do the O tones number twenty eight. No, because that they was they were going to charge. They were going to charge. Yeah. Okay. And then the symphonies in Greenfield, and now we're at Pity Theater Company. We said yes, partial five hundred. So maybe we want to say four hundred to just try and shave a little, or do we want to four. leave it at 500? Let's go to four. Four. They're, they're probably going to go to Greenfield Cultural Council and Turner's. I hope so. And... Um, so this we gave extra, so we could knock off that 50. We could. Where are just, we? Uh, 33 and a syllable. Yeah. Oh, this is the puppet person. Yes. So how much, 200? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Special Needs Advocacy Network. Again, I really like this one. Is that uh, 34 this is the one where we said no, and then we, Special Needs, yeah. yeah. So now I'm on Special Needs. This is the one where they submit art yeah. about themselves. We did yeah, say yes, right. so. Maybe we make it 400, just to 400. try and fund as much as we can. The tunes at noon at the Survival Center, I think, given our financial state, we just yeah. say no. No. Right. Yep. Um, this is the Shea Theater Smithsonian project. They asked for 200. I think that's a no. All right. We say no. We're down to 7,300 at this point. Oh, yeah. my God. Wow. OK, so Nolan Vika, let's see. Maybe we just pick one. No, or I we could partially I, fund the second one and partially, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, partially I fund the that. second one. 
Yeah, I vote for keeping them both, but yeah, just what you did. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're on the Tilton fabrics. So this one, they're only asking 150. Right. Do we want to knock other day down to 250? Sure. Which one? The Which drumming. One? Yes. Yeah. Right now we're at 66.75. We're doing so good. Okay, so. Indigo vat for dyeing fabric. Yes, for 200. What did we, excuse me, what did we, I'm trying to write this down. What did we do for drumming? 250. Okay. This is another one where they're asking for the full amount and we're not allowed to I give them the full. No. But my only thing is, is they did the same thing. They're under two, you know, under 250. Oh, right. So we don't want to go any lower. Right. I think that's fine. All right. Uh, mindful movement. We have a lot of back and forth on this one. Because we're just unclear about the ADA stuff. Yeah. Right. Well, we've done a lot of the Tiltons. I think we have to maybe yeah. knock one Tilton Make a hard off. choice. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the, oh, they asked for the whole thing. Let's call it 250. Yes. Yep. Who dance? Which one? Uh, um, for Edward, the New England oh, Saxon Wind Quartet. The Wind Quartet. Oh, that's oh, going to be down at Tufts. But he asked for the whole thing too. Yeah, he's going to be at the uh, White Church in Old Deerfield, right? I think we make Matt York 250. Yeah, because he asked for the whole thing as well. And that brings us below 6,000, which means if we wanted to go back to any of these that we didn't fund and throw we could them give something. We could give Johnny Cash 300. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Johnny Cash. He's different. Yeah, 300. Okay. Did we give, what did we do for Ed Wirt? Nothing? No, we That's gave you 250. Oh, we $220 to give? Mm hmm. We still have $220 to give? Mm hmm. How much did we do for the um, theater performance on the, up at the way top? 250, so we could increase this. I would increase it because they asked for 950. What if we make it? If we make it 400, what is that? Were we really crushed about getting rid of the STEM thing? Wasn't there one that we? Jay Mankato, that one. That, that really hurt. That one was really fun. I re I would I would give money back to that too. That's a good. That's a good. It's, one. it's a good one. If I make Arena Civic Theater 400, is anyone looking at the bottom number? Maxwell. Sorry, we have $70 left. Hmm. Maybe 350? For what? For Arena Civic Theater. And then where is our- um, where's, that, where's that STEM one? It's with Deerfield Rack. It's um, number seven. So if we say yes and give them 250. Is that bingo? I think we're close. So now we're over by 130. Ooh. <laughs> we should go back to arena and not go to 350 and keep them at 250. Because they're going to be getting it from Greenfield too. Mm -hmm. they have a I lot think of we make Greenfield. Matt York 250 for jo Johnny Pack, and I think we make Arena 250. Okay. So $20, $20 burning the hole in our pocket. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. I feel fine about that. We did it. Yay. And five minutes early. That was amazing. Don't we have to <laughs> spend all the money? Shoot. What, Rebecca? Do we have to spend all the money? No. Oh, okay. Oh, we have to give somebody give somebody twenty dollars. Come on. Who should we give twenty dollars to? Um, Why don't we just pick a number, and whoever that is, they get twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. uh, twenty three. Twenty twenty three. What about the Juanita Nelson the project? Problem. Yeah, they asked the for a lot of money, and we couldn't give it all. I like Which that. Woman, no. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, the Woolman Hill. Yes. Give it to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's a good one. We were giving them 500. They will get a lot of money, though. I'm telling you, they will get a lot of money because um, the person they're celebrating was so loved in Greenfield. I know, but we can say that what we gave, you know, we'll be able to feel good about it. But the Nelson, yeah. yes. So we'll call that 520? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okay. So, so everyone knows the process. I'm going to send, I think I need to go through and reject everybody through the system who's not getting it. They have a time period in which they can appeal. And then assuming there's no appeals, I can send all of the. Did we get. save some money then in case somebody does appeal and we decide to give it to them? Right now we wouldn't have any funding. Well, so we don't get to, um, that's why we can't give people money yet. So we don't tell the people who've been approved until after we've told the people who have been rejected. Right, you're right, I forgot about that. Right, that makes sense. It's somewhere in here, I don't even. <laughs> you know what, on a really positive note, if all the things that we're funding happen, we are gonna have a really good year. That's, that's a good, yeah. There's some really cool stuff that yeah. we just helped fund. Right. Yeah, this is great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for reviewing. Thank you for dealing with all of the scheduling. Thank you, Chris. Um, do I have our agenda up still? That would be nice. Nope. Hey, chairperson, thanks for doing all of this. And the big work is still to come because you got to file the financial part. I do have to do the financial part. I'm sorry. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn at 7.58? The Move that we adjourn. Second. All Third. in favor, do I just? We did it, yay. Did it. yay. It Thank good. you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Thank you everyone. This Thank you all, I hope you have a great night. Have a good year. Yep.